Welcome to Porsche Passion School. I'm Emily Ziket, and I've been involved with Porsche Experience for the last five years. In this episode, we will start with the basics and how you can take your Porsche from the street to the track. There are many track driving programs offered from private clubs, track days, or through Porsche Experience. Some notable Canadian tracks include Area 27, CTMP, Calabogie, but all provinces have local or regional track surfaces. These are some places where you can take your driving to the next level in a safe environment. Track driving can be done one-on-one -on -one with the coach in the car with you, guided driving where you follow behind an instructor, or open lapping where you're on your own. Speeds vary depending on the track and skill of the driver, but unlike public roads, there are no speed limits on the racetrack. When attending a track day, you can use your own car, rent one, or use one of ours at Porsche Experience. Before heading to the track, you should have an inspection performed to your Porsche to check your brakes, tires, and fluids. A vehicle inspection can be performed at your local Porsche Center. Just make sure to secure any loose items in your Porsche like water bottles, garage openers or bags as you will be experiencing your car in a much more spirited fashion. Please double check with your track day provider whether certain helmets or other safety devices may be required. In this segment, we will discuss the basics of getting ready to drive on the track. The first thing to do is to find your proper seating position. This will help you to get the most feedback and endurance out of your track day. And don't forget, hands at 9 and 3, not 10 and 2. Vision is most important. Wherever your eyes go, your hands will follow. The further you look ahead, the more time you have to plan your actions. This turns you into a better, faster, smoother driver. Remember, a track day is not a race. Everyone is on the same team. Organizers will place you in a group with other drivers who are at the same skill levels as yourself. When driving on track, the ideal line is the path of least resistance. We can think of the corner as being broken down into three sections, entry, mid and exit. Always remember to drive outside, the inside, the outside, unlike the street where you maintain the right side of the road. Less is more with our inputs. We don't want to ask the car to do too much. The trick is allowing the car to do most of the work for us. As you exit the corner, apply power to increase your speed again. While on track, the goal is consistency lap after lap. Only with consistency can we make improvements as drivers. Start by staying well within your comfort zone and make each lap almost identical to the last one. Then, with a solid foundation, you can start making small improvements. Putting all this together will help you achieve a faster lap time. Keep in mind, it takes lots of time to improve. Everyone has similar goals at the track, mostly to have fun and a safe, enjoyable day. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Porsche Passion School. I hope to see you on the track. <laughs>